One more definition, arithmetic mean, right? We are all very well versed with arithmetic mean. What is that arithmetic mean, right? The arithmetic mean of a set of observations. Don't get confused. Observation means it's a data, values, figures, right? We used to say in different ways, okay? So the set of observations means one group of values, group of data, group of observations, right? Is the sum, sum means total, S-U-M, sum indicates total. Right? divided by the total number of observations. For example, right, so if I just, if I write, right, I want to write x bar, I'll just write it as summation x by n. If I have the numbers 1, 2, and 3, if I require to get the average, the arithmetic mean, I should add up sum. So I should take it as 1 plus 2 plus 3, means I'm adding SUEM sum, right, divided by n. So n means the number of observations, the number of values. So you have 1, 2, 3. 3 values are there. I'll divide by 3. So my answer would be 2 is the answer. Right? So your arithmetic mean of a set of observations means a group of observations is their sum, means the total divided by the total number of observations. Right? So this is the arithmetic mean definition. Right? And here in arithmetic mean, we have two different types. One is called the simple arithmetic mean and one more is called the weighted arithmetic mean, right? So in simple arithmetic mean, like this is a simple arithmetic mean, okay? So here, equal importance is given to all the items in that group, right? Means without any differentiating, right? All are given the same importance, equal importance, right? We call that, a, that such an arithmetic mean. Right? Wherein we give equal importance for all the items, for all the observations, we call it as simple arithmetic mean. One more word, weighted arithmetic mean. The name itself says weighted. Weighted means your importance. So your importance means your weightage is given, the importance is given right, to different items or to different observations according to their relative importance. Because all items... Sometimes we do not give the same importance, right? So for some items, we'll give the priority. For some, we'll give the least priority, right? At that time, we had to make use of weighted arithmetic mean. For example, the students will not give us equal time for all the subjects, right? So whichever they feel interesting, whichever they feel difficult, for that they give more importance, right? Compared to the remaining subjects, right? So they, they, they the priority is based on the interesting subject based on the difficulty level of the subject. Okay? So at that time, we say as weighted, importance given. So we call that arithmetic mean as the weighted arithmetic mean. Okay. Let me have few properties of arithmetic mean. Right? We have three main properties of arithmetic mean. The very first property, it says that the algebraic sum of the observations of a given set of observations taken from their mean is zero. It is always zero. So here I can write it the same thing as summation of x minus x bar equal to zero. It means whenever I take the deviations, deviations means subtracting. Right? So whenever I just take the deviations right, from the arithmetic mean and if I just take the summation of that, Right? All the time, it will be zero only. For example, okay, I'll just take the x values, okay? A simple example I'll take. I'll just take 10, 20, and 30 are the three values of a variable x, right? So if I want to have a proof of this, right, I should find the arithmetic mean of this. So arithmetic mean of 10, 20, 30 is 10 plus 20 plus 30 divided by 3. I'll be getting the arithmetic mean as 20. So the next step I'll do is x minus x bar, right? So here x bar, what we got? It is 20, right? So this will be equal to x minus 20. So now I'll take the first value of x, I'll subtract with the 20. So 10 minus 20 is minus 10. 20 minus 20 is 0. So 30 minus 20 is 10. Now I'm taking the summation total, right? So plus 10 and minus 10 will cancel, you are getting 0. So this 0 indicates summation of x minus x bar. Okay, so the property 1, so with the numerical data, right? 
so the property one says that the algebraic sum sum means the total of observations observations means the values right of a given set of observation right taken from their arithmetic mean is always zero always zero okay next the second property the sum of squares of the observations from their arithmetic mean is least to say that summation of f into x minus x bar whole square is least right right for example the meaning of the second property right so here i'm just taking the summation of f into x minus x bar whole square it means here deviations are taken from x bar okay instead of x bar if i just go with any other values what we call as an assumed mean right any other number rather than x bar right so i'll be getting some result once i do this right so that result and this result if i just tally right so this result will be always the lowest one the result the answer right so this the whenever we take the deviations from x bar right so that value will be least compared to any other deviations means whenever we take any deviations from any other value except this x bar that value would be more than this value and this value is always least because i am taking the deviations from arithmetic mean so that is the meaning of the second property and the third property is combined arithmetic mean so combined arithmetic mean is given by x bar c c indicates combined so x bar is arithmetic mean so combined arithmetic mean x bar c equal to n1 x bar 1 Plus n two x bar two divided by n one plus n two. Means this will be utilized whenever you have a two groups of data, right? So you have to find the combined arithmetic mean of those two groups, right? At that time, I can make use of this combined arithmetic mean, right? Here n one indicates the number of values in that first group, right? Means how many observations are there in that first group, right? And n two indicates the number of values or the what we call size. of the second group right and x bar 1 indicates the arithmetic mean of the first group first series same way x bar 2 indicates the arithmetic mean of the second group of the second series right so with the help of this formula so just we can find the combined arithmetic mean of those two groups group a and group b still by chance if i have one more group group c right i have to find the combined arithmetic mean of group a b and c then i can make use of the form same formula by extending little right how to extend this one i'll extend like this numerator i'll include n3 x bar 3 and denominator i'll include plus n3 right so like this i can extend to any number of groups in order to find the combined arithmetic mean